Hey guys, welcome to Deck the Halls with Nog and other Christmas things. Prepare to cringe at holiday songs creepypasta style. Have you all, have you all in your Christmas jumpers? Get ready for it. Okay, so... Uh, author's notes classic holiday songs that are flip turned upside down it's written by Will Smith <laughs> I have no idea why anyone would try this let alone myself but it has to be done no it doesn't with that said enjoy alright let's go okay, boys ok let's do it so the first paragraph is just oh oh like all good songs no it's, it's like that MLG thing oh <laughs> on the first day of Christmas I'm not going to sing it my pastor gave to me a knife with lots of Blood stains. Hang on, let me let me try and sing it. On the first day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me a knife with lots of blood stains. Hey, it sort of works, okay? No, it doesn't because yeah. it doesn't no. rhyme. No, it's Ooh. supposed to be like to me a partridge in a pear tree. It's supposed to rhyme. So we just need to auto tune this shit. On the second day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me. Who is your pastor, by the way? Like, how does that work? Like a uh, bowl uh, of uh, a uh, sentient bowl of spaghetti. Uh, my my pastor gave to me. It's suicide dog jpeg. Two white hoodies and a knife with lots of blood stains. You sort of sound like Marco Rosen then. A knife. Nice. <laughs> On the third day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me three flavoured cheesecakes. Whoa! What? What? Edgy as fuck. <laughs> Two white what? hoodies and a knife with lots of blood stains. <laughs> to be fair, this doesn't sound like too much that much bad of a Christmas, if I'm honest. You know, um, all right. Yeah, so, so, so clean, clean, clean the blood off off clean the knife. I got a couple of nice white hoodies and three cheesecakes. Right. Score. On the fifth day of Christmas, my pastor fourth. gave yeah. to me... Fourth. Oh, I don't want me to do fourth. On the fourth day of Christmas, pastor gave to me four and six fours. What? What? Four Did, is that supposed to be four N64s fours or four N64s? Six fours? Yeah, just put it up on the screen so that people can see what it looks like. Three, Three. flavoured cheesecake, <laughs> two white hoodies and a knife with lots of blood stains. On the fifth day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me, and then it's got five written out like you would think. Five the kidney cookies. What? So just they're just cookies in the shape of kidneys. Again, nothing really wrong with that. No. Four n six fours. I'm not sure what n six fours are. I think you're right. I would have never come to the conclusion it's supposed to be n sixty four because I'm a bit slow. But like, I, th yeah, I assume you're right. Well, you like, think like a human being. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's more what it is. Three flavoured cheesecakes, two white hoodies, and a knife with lots of bloodstones. Get more depressed. On the sixth day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me six FBI agents. Which Bob brought them? And then all in capitals: five kidney cookies, four and six fours, <laughs> three flavoured cheesecakes, two white hoodies, and a knife with lots of bloodstains. It keeps going. Does does it does all twelve? On the seventh day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me seven windows creaking, six... Oh, hold up a Wait, second. Why don't we just go do to the bottom and then read it all the way up? Seven creaking windows? Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Six FBI agents, five Chris Cuddies, four N64s, Yeah, you know what, you're right. Let's, go to, let's just go to 12 and then we can... Uh, no, can no, because look... Oh, wait, yeah. No, you oh, Actually, we can't. Yeah, see? All right. Um... On the eighth day of Christmas, my pastor gave... I still don't understand how that works. My pastor gave to me eight claw-like ornaments. <laughs> You're not even what? trying now. <laughs> what does that mean? What, Dr. Alan Grant ornaments? Seven windows creaking, <clears throat> six FBI agents, five kidney cookies. I keep thinking it's Another a kidney that... stones, which would be a very <laughs> yeah. terrible... Five Christmas. kidney stones! Ah! On the ninth day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me nine spine-chilling theories. Jet fuel, <laughs> jet fuel don't mean it's about steam beams. <laughs> or real memes. Eight claw-like ornaments, seven windows creaking, six FBI agents, five kidney cookies, four N64s, three flavoured cheesecakes, two white hoodies and a knife with lots of bloodstains. On the tenth day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me ten unamused slenders, what? nine spine-chilling theories, eight claw-like ornaments, seven windows creaking, six S FBI agents, Etc. Ten the... unamused. When is when is he amused? It's, it's not like you can see when he's amused. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me eleven Zalgos screaming. Whoa, that's kicking it old school. That's like the oldest thing. Like, I mean, at least at least they're going for like the the yeah, two L's, like eleven Zalgos, like it's like mm. eleven lords are leaping. They've kind of tried to do there, except it's just not not proper proper alliteration. It's just more cancer. We haven't really um, covered who the fuck Zalgo is, have we? I know what it is. It's sort of like you get sometimes really weird writing. It's like Zalgo is coming. Uh, it's really stupid, basically. Yeah. 
Um, ten anime slenders, nine spine chilling theories, eight claw like ornaments, seven windows creaking, six if we five kidney cookies, four and six fours, three flavoured cheesecakes, two white hoodies, and a knife with lots of blood stains. Okay. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my pastor gave to me twelve bodies bleeding. Dot 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 dot. Oh hell no! Stomps off. Crap. In stars. What? And then crowd mumbles and whispers. There is no crowd on earth that would pay money to listen to this shit. Me comes, but yes, when no one's on Patreon. <laughs> comes back sorry about the outburst the bodies just startled me back to the carol oh my what is this 12 bodies oh. bleeding 11 <laughs> zalgo screaming 10 on a new slenders 9 spine chilling theories 8 claw like ornaments 7 windows creaking 6 FBI agents 5 kidney cookies 4 and 6 fours, 3 flavoured cheesecakes Two white hoodies and a knife with lots of blood stains. I only sang that because it's in bold. In in bold. Too. Thank you. Good night, America. Creepy, oh, it's not over. Creepy pastors look around with the stuff. That's in stars. What? What is that? What's that supposed to mean? Is that stage directions or what's supposed to be what? happening? Them now. What? Me? Go kill annoying people. AP <clears throat> annoying people. Lol. This, this is, is the. This is the worst. My, uh, I was saying, Matt, then, you're close to Toby. Can you read the, what the annoying people are saying? This is so fake! Look at the graphics! I can see the pixels! That's not what they say. My mom comes up with Beto Carol parodies, and she's dead. What? The creepypastas like you. Okay, creepypastas. They're, they're just a sentient being now. It's a bunch of stories talking. I've, I've been over this. I'm going to try to express this as clearly as I can. STORIES ARE PEOPLE! Ow. AP. We're not. Da -da 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 Shit. Run for your lives. Uh, me. Uh, gotta go. Bye bye. Sorry. So many caps lock XD. Continue reading the next part. I mean. Suck a dick. <laughs> Suck a dog. Christmas shaped dick. It's like a tree. It's got little tinsel on it. Got a star at the end of it. You can fucking suck it. Fuck, what was that supposed to be? There's a bloody Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer one! Oh god. Okay, can we just talk about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for a second? Right, yeah, so Gandalf! Uh, no, no, no. Kill Gandalf. me! <laughs> no, no, listen fellas, right, because it starts like this, it's like, you know Dancer and Prancer and all of the others, right? And yeah. then, it, then no, no. the assumption is that you know all of them, right? And then he says, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? So this, so the assumption is that I recall all the others, but you're asking mm. if I know the most famous one. That's like, you know, Bruce Campbell and Red Brown, but do you know Tom Cruise? <laughs> like, like, what? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, That's so stupid, you know Ringo yeah. and Paul and George, but do you recall the most famous beat level? Yes! It's a fucking stupid way to start a song. Oh, right, go Ringo. Now, that is so stupid, I agree. It's just like the, the saying, I, could, uh, I couldn't care less. Well, no, it should be, I could care less. Yeah. No, no, Toby, no. you just got that the wrong way around. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> well, it's it's like, say I could like, you, you can edit this to make me look less retarded, right? Yes, please. No, <laughs> shit. Oh, well. Nothing can make it, Toby look less retarded. <laughs> okay, night. Oh, oh god, we're actually doing this. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Foxy the red-haired pasta had some very. Oh, shiny right, once, once again, like, <laughs> do you understand? The words that are coming out of my mouth. Yeah, like pasta is like is a play on words. It's based on paste, yes. as in copy yeah, and copy paste. paste. Copy oh. pasta, oh creepy pasta. That the pasta is the story. The f had. Like, I'm, I'm I'm fairly certain they actually have a word for like the unusual creatures that are supposed to appear in creepy pasta. But creepy pasta isn't actually what it is. Foxy the redhead pasta had some very shiny hair, and oh. if you ever saw it. You would even say it flares. What does that mean? What, he's got 80s flares That's, on? Just, just do it. All of the other pastors used to laugh and call her names. <laughs> they, ne <laughs> they never let poor Foxy. And then Foxy interrupts the song saying, please stop. That's actually on the page. <laughs> please stop. Oh. oh my god, the, the internet becomes self-aware and it's trying to stop this. Oh. Pasta games, then one foggy Christmas Eve, and then Hero Brian says, oh dear god. Oh. <laughs> like, you just feel like the tumour's building in the pit of his stomach. <laughs> like, it, Toby's lungs are turning into teeth and trying to kill him from the inside out. <laughs> it's a way better story. Just, just do this, just do that. 
Slender came to say. I don't know how Slender talks. Uh, Look, he's he Irish. He's Irish. Irish right? Slender came to say nothing at all because yeah. he can't speak. No, he says, <laughs> Fox, Foxy, with your hair so bright, won't you help us kill tonight? Then I can feel the... it. Come on. <laughs> then <laughs> did it, did all it. the pastors loved her and they shouted out with glee. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Haired Pastor, you'll go down in history, double exclamation mark, and then Toby interjects apparently. Oh, apparently I say, and I mutter, and it's like George Washington, I pull out my Washington! <laughs> it's like, I whips out my George Washington. <laughs> and, the, and the crowd goes wild! <laughs> The crowd that are here to listen to Korea Faster songs clapping and applauding at Toby's George Washington. Literally, it'll be like Doctor Strange Love or whatever. Which, which, what one is it? Where he's like, oh no, that's that's from that's from Citizen Kane. That's the one. <laughs> oh, he's getting his hair mixed up. Rosebud. He's <laughs> falling on the bomb. It's like Rosebud. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk. I'm going to the theater. Right. Um. Knight looks at him. Knight is the is the narrator as far as I can get it. Knight oh slowly drags his unconscious body upstairs. Hey, oh no no, you missed you missed out that bit. Oh, I don't care. Knight, that's the spirit. Oh Hera Brian. My problem is with you singing too much. Knight looks at him in stars. Knight. Oh slowly drags his unconscious body upstairs. Uh Fox, I, I hate it right now. Fox, why didn't we make that before? Fox is just Fox. Oh. Fox McCloud. Author's note, why not? And I'm sorry, Fox, but your name fits better as Foxy XD. Don't hurt me. What's the hell okay, is this? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> if you couldn't what tell already... This? What is wrong with you? If if you couldn't tell already, we're reading Wattpad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I shouldn't have mentioned it. Like, you know, like the fact that the author's note has XD and addresses the creepypasta characters should make <laughs> it pretty fucking clear. We're well away. Well, this isn't even Trollpasta Wiki. You know, we're well fucking away from where we started. We're in. This, we're well away from where we started. Continue reading the next part. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Do we have to? What's obviously. this one? Silent Night plus. I thought it said Jews then. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's just like suddenly just things take an unexpected <laughs> dark turn. Jews. <laughs> yeah. This group clears throat. Herobrine steps forward, tries not to snicker. This is awful. This is awful. All these <laughs> stage directions. It's just bad. It's making me. It's it, honestly, Die. it's making me feel quite sad, but, right. but in a good way, you know, like oh, a, like a sad movie. Oh my god! <laughs> right, like t- Harold Bryan steps forward, trying not to stick it, and starts silent. No, and then he gets a the boat flies in and hits his face. Ow! Ah, oh, hella no! Ah, oh, hell Crowd no! Looks around. The f- how old? I want to know how old he was. The the author, who I think is a she from the from the stage directions, well, can't, the hot can't, ale. can't be any older than um, twelve. Uh, yeah, twelve, thir- thirteen tops. Mm. Um, so obviously, you know, we just if the author of this hears us and you are still this age, we're just we're just playing around. <laughs> like, if you know. not, then. Right, okay. Anyway, so back to one direction goes one direction. Right. <laughs> and that direction is towards <laughs> my vagina. Night. The frick, frack, snick, snack you're doing. <laughs> Was this written by Sammy Classic Sonic fan? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone shifts around awkwardly. Night. A. It's not even Christmas. <laughs> B. It should be a female beginning. At what? Uh, and C, why are you allowing this dumbass to sing such a beautiful song? Dot dot dot. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I don't think I can go on. I, He's actually going to be sick on your I Christmas think tree. I may or may not be having a stroke right now. Please, <laughs> please just call me someone. This is really, this really is not, This is happening. This is happening right now. <laughs> Worst episode ever. Oh my god. Well, on the bright side, luckily I've gone panic blind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really helping with the sound, but you know, silver lining. What is life? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> oh god, that's what is love. Actually <laughs> crying. That's ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> Fucking! <laughs> I've got panic blind. It's just all these characters. <laughs> what are they? Like... All right. So, okay. So then, 
Triss interrupts with. No, no, no. At the, at the top bit, okay, it doesn't have to be female, though it usually is. Literally means nothing. Triss interrupts with. Triggered. To be honest, it wasn't that. And then Pippin says. I'm, I'm imagining but, Pippin from yeah, that Lord come of, outside. Oh, I was program. imagining Pippin from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> and then a hobbit showed up. It's like, oh, the, cl- the classic horror characters that we all know and love. Triss, <laughs> Knight, and Peregrine Took. <laughs> And, and Tits McGee! And Pippin says, STFU, it was horrible. Molly May snickering. Knight, why are you snickering? Gigantic pole crashes onto Hero Brian. Crowd gasps in shock. Fox yelps and runs to help him. Knight, dot 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 cool. Molly May, the mouthfucks. I just can't! I always offers no. Okay. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. What? It's trying to. It's, it's, it's trying to be Mulan. Yeah, Mulan. Yeah, Mulan. <laughs> oh I my like God. that song. Don't do it. Too late. It's ruined. <laughs> That's it. All right. I'm gonna burn all my Disney stuff. <laughs> They're gonna make a creepy pastor out of you. Let's get down to business. To defeat the inoperable brain tumours that I just got from the fucking pasta. <laughs> Honestly! <laughs> uh, Toby's in the fetal position, Jacob's <laughs> covering himself with a blanket, now. and I'm still panic blind! <laughs> uh, literally, I'm just holding onto a blanket for comfort. I didn't do that when I was a child! <laughs> it's just like regressed me to like a pre child level. <laughs> this distant, I don't know, night, STFU. And then just no, you dash. Okay, L- let's move on. Yeah, let's swiftly, swiftly move on. And now it just says, first of all, I assume this is another author's note because it's in bold. First of all, thank you all for the support. No problem, mate. <laughs> honestly, no problem. I really appreciate every. Yeah, can you give us some kind of monetary compensation <laughs> yeah. for it? He's for <laughs> us. You can uh, find us on Patreon.com. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Every read, vote, and comment, and it makes my day. So thank you so much. That's no, no problem. If we've made this guy's day by reading it, no problem. I know I haven't been on lately, but I do have plans for a non creepypasta related book. Oh, fantastic! Can't wait to read that, and maybe another CP related book. Oh no! I really think you should put book in inverted commas. Um, second, I have no idea what to do for my updated version of which cloak is real. Don't. No, no idea what If you is. have any suggestions at all, you can drop a comment on here. Or that's well, I, think Je- we, I, don't I, mean, think, Je- I don't think we need Gentlemen, to. Gentlemen, do you have any suggestions? Perhaps people in the comment section of our video can put no, suggestions. No, that, that'd be our gift to them. Yeah. <laughs> which, which cloak is real? I'd say the left one. There we go. There, yeah, there you go. Haven't got to, haven't got to write yeah. it now, have you? Um, thirdly, I'm going to be on even less during August to the end of the school year. It sucks. Obviously, we predicted it was a school kid. It yeah. is. It sucks that I signed up for JROTC and a blah 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 blah. What? blah. Very boring stuff. It's just just like a diary at this point. The end. Uh, love you. Good night. P.S. Tris, Pippin, and Molly May do not belong to me. Lamau. There is a continuing to the next part. But we're so not going to touch you, are we? Press it to see because I was promised right a holiday song, and that was not a holiday song. Yeah, that was just, it, that was just it, nonsense, it, wasn't it? Requests. Sick and next pasta. Please leave requests and suggest here. <laughs> My life will be so much easier. Cries. Okay, so obviously that was really terrible. It was supposed to be fun and silly. The problem with it was, personally, I found it was it was very cringy. Typical kind of teenage stuff with a sort of like the breaking the fourth wall and the XDs and things like that. Honestly, like I never wrote anything like that, but I had friends that wrote stuff like that when we were teenagers. Well, like, not not about creep as because creep space exist. pirates or something. Yeah, creep as didn't exist yet. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Just stupid trash. Um, it was harmless. <laughs> was word. it? I've no, got to go no. to the hospital! Obviously, cancer jokes aside, it was... No, you know, no, no. You know, We read things like clockwork, your yeah. time is up, and things like that. And this was just harmless fun. I, no no I, sexual I, assault during the Christmas carol. Yeah. So. Like, 12 in a to- inappropriate no, touching. I, I agree. You know, I, I, prob- I, I didn't really write anything like that when, when I was there, but I probably knew some people who did like write, essentially, insert fan fictions of crap like that and whatever. But, um... Ugh... I think Jacob's been a bit too kind because he's in the festive mood, you know. <laughs> right, oh yeah, like... Jacob, the king of Christmas. <laughs> just the happiest, <laughs> jolliest guy with my big white beard and belly. Yeah. Now, now we've got an idea of like, the king of oh, Christmas. Wait, no, that's Santa, you fucking dog. The king of Christmas. He slew his enemies to make his way to the top. He played the game of Christmas thrones. 
It's between like the skull of a reindeer just sipping the blood of my enemies. It's, it's like that. It's it's basically the final scene from Conan. It's like, it's Santa. But that that was a story for another time. So Jacob may not be the king of Christmas, but he sure is the king of Keck. That's true. Alright, so the next story is called A Christmas Creepypasta. I'll, I'll be honest, I've, I've not Good fully time. recovered. You don't have high hopes. I've not fully recovered. I don't hide the fact I hate Christmas. <laughs> Call me a proverbial Scrooge. Insult me to no end. But every year I feel a dread greater than anyone who hates the holiday season could ever claim. It's just probably probably false. You know, there's, there's, there's children starving in Africa. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah, there's people who like lost their entire families mm. at Christmas and things. This guy's probably chatting shit. But being single and 30 at Christmas... <laughs> if you know me personally... Which, quite clearly, I don't, so why <laughs> even put this in? <laughs> what stupid lie. As all my close personal friends who are reading this know... To be fair, maybe this guy only wrote it for his friends and assumed that we wouldn't, or anyone else mm-hmm. would ever read it. It's on readinginthashadows.com. That well-known source of spooky yes. stories. If you know me personally... The fuck was that, Erasmus song? <laughs> oh, shit, oh, I oh, Erasmus. There was some guy named Rasmus I was talking to on Facebook the other day, and every time he comes up, I was like, oh shit, you made me remember the Rasmus. The game. The game where we were playing for ten years. Damn. <laughs> oh, oh. My mum was the only person I knew who was into the Rasmus. I used to, I used to date a girl who, um, again, used to uh, date a girl who liked the Rasmus. That was the reason you dumped her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a, re- it was a, it was just kind of a rebound from the girl I actually liked. So I'll probably cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's in, case, in case anyone that you personally yeah. know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All my close personal friends that listen to the show. Leave it in. Leave it in. We've been doing this for how many years? I don't think Nathan's listened to a single episode. He's been in one of them. Actually, I know one person who listens to the show. Shout out to Dylan. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Dylan. All right, where the fuck are we? All right, if you knew me personally, you'd assume, my gender, it's because of my younger brother's disappearance, and you'd be right for the most part. Okay. It happened one Christmas morning when, by all rights, the two of us should have been sitting by our tree opening presents and making treasured childhood memories. Or just opening presents. Instead, I was treated and with And disappointed a day... because you got given an asylum film. You got so- Fuck you, asylum! Hang on, you got asylum you remember, for like, Christmas? Remember, like, I can't remember, a couple of years ago, it was like a... Nathan was like, oh, I don't see why people get so upset oh, yeah, about the he's asylum. White, he's white knighting asylum, yeah. which is a company that basically makes us money off of ignorant grandparents. Uh, <laughs> I remember one Christmas, what was it, Jacob? You gave me a bo- uh, you gave me a bag of Haribo and the human centipede too. No, I gave you teeth. And a teeth, bag that was it, yeah. <laughs> much uh, better. Yeah, much better. Yeah, I mean, you mean the film, not like you just like yeah, knocked some guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I beat a man to death and took his teeth. And just, Toby, <laughs> you don't know what I did to get this. Instead, I was treated with a day of police frantically searching our house and neighbourhood while questioning my distraught parents. Sure, sorry, if the child's missing, why would you search the house? If they surely you would already assume. No, but you should search the house anyway. Yeah. Evidence and Just stuff like, like that. Oh, I better check who's are. He's not in the attic. He's <laughs> not in the attic, officer. Yeah, but I'm a policeman and you're just a man. What do you got the defend? Pol- what? The, what police, the police bill at the beginning means I'm better at looking for stuff. We've well, got and detective vision. People. Alright, they questioned me too, of course, but as a ten-year-old girl, I lies, you're definitely a boy. <laughs> Girls don't exist on the internet. Uh, we've already had one story by a girl, there's no possible way we just <laughs> have two in a row. <laughs> just statistically speaking. It was a Christmas miracle that we found everyone, one girl. Everyone knows that women are a minority, right? Yeah. There's like, what is it, Like they make about 12% of the human population, something like that? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Everybody else is men. Or well, if you're going to take that ratio to every party you've ever been to, then yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, just every party I've ever thrown, so yeah. I, think. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have much to say. I told them that he and I had gone to bed, excited for what the next day had in store for us, and that was the last I saw of him. He just never came down to open his gifts, and that's when my mother discovered his room was empty. But that was a lie. I do know what happened to Chris. Right, okay, okay. okay. Let's hear All it, right. let's hear right. it. Well, I mean, you say saying, like, fellas, I know that you've looked at the screen and you can see what's on the next page. Yeah, I know. I can't. I'm not looking at it. I know who took him away. And I know that if I told the truth, no one would believe me. Then or now. So why are you writing it? Santa kidnapped my brother. 
<laughs> and the next paragraph, please don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it even funnier, though. I know how it sounds, and you're right, it sounds ridiculous. He can't be real, and even if he was, he's supposed to be nice to children. But I know what I saw, and it was Wait wasn't... a minute, Santa isn't real! And it wasn't some lunatic in a Santa suit, either. That man was as real as a winter wind that chills you down to the bone. Why wouldn't you have told your parents that, like, yeah, mm. actually, um, like, why wouldn't you have told them that it was some guy just as Santa? Yeah. Like, it, like they may not believe that it was actually yeah, Santa. Not, yeah, yeah, their brother's gone missing. They're not going to be like, oh, I, I, I believe a man who was dressed as Santa kidnapped my brother. They're not going to be like, ha, 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 ha. Good one, Jimmy. Whatever your name is, because you're a girl. Jimmy, 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 it's Jill. Jill. It's Jemima. Jemima Puddle Duck. That's who's writing the story. <laughs> yeah. I, I never told anyone because I didn't have the capacity to speech. Quack, quack, quack. Didn't have the capacity to speech. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> right, I'm, lo- I'm losing it as well. I didn't speech right. Because I am a duck. Quack. I Joke suppose I should start by telling you how this all started. Before the holiday was ruined for my family, that Christmas Eve we all left out cookies for Santa. That's, and that's why he kidnapped yeah, me. Yeah. He was like, You want a fucking mince pie? I just swung by fucking England. I got a full belly on nice warm mince pies in the nice room show. Milk and cookies? Am I six? Literally. I'll do, I'll do. I'll kidnap some kids. That'll make... I didn't know this. But... I'm real, I, want, I want some real food. I'll eat this kid. That'll show you. I'll cook him Leave in a fucking me mince pie. Fucking mince pie next time. Honestly, Americans don't know what mince pies are, they don't have them. Yeah, Americans don't have a lot of things. Americans don't have contactless payments for your card. How do they get anything done? Do you know they only just got chip and pin, like, this year? R- really? really? Yeah, and they're all pissed off about it because it takes forever. I'm like, yeah, I was annoyed about it that it took forever when it came out in, like, 2003. And now it's efficient and quick. And there's also contactless, which is much more efficient and quick. I was talking to American the other day, like... Uh, well, not the other day, but, like, a few weeks ago at work. And they were t- talking about chip and pin, and I was like, yeah, we got contactless now. And they were like, what's that? And I showed them my card with the little Wi-Fi symbol on. They're like, yeah, we don't have that back home. I'm like, what? Yes, well, the how thing do you is- pay for goods? Do you, have to- do you actually use cash over there like some kind of fucking pleb? Well, they do have $100 bills and shit like that. Weird people. Jacob, Jacob, they don't have kettles. Need I say more? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Electric <laughs> kettles, then. Was he, um, they don't, don't have an like... electric kettle. No, they don't. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure because, and... because, hello, Dylan, for the third time. So it's the third time I've mentioned him. But basically, he was telling me that he was supposed to make Craig's mum. Craig's mum? No, Craig's, Craig's mum. Craig's mum a cup of tea. Yeah. And he didn't know what to do. So he just ran the wa- the hot water a couple of minutes and put the tea bag in, <laughs> gave that to her. And she right. said, she went, what the fuck is this? Are you sure that's because they don't have electric kettles? <laughs> it's just not because Dylan is a fucking imbecile. No, because Dylan is an imbecile. He's, just, he's never seen one before. Ever. <laughs> I, I can't I believe... I swear like, to you. American American, people tell me. Americans, what is an electric kettle? Do you have one? Because we have... Shit tons over here. I can't well, believe they, got, they don't they have. Got, they haven't got mince pies or contactless payments. So. That's the thing. Like most um, Americans, when they think of pies, they think of pie as a dessert rather yeah. than as the yeah. Well, when I mentioned, they're not eating like meat pies and like. Well, anyway, let's actually do this pasta. Jesus Fuck Christ! It. We left out milk and cookies for Santa. <laughs> Talked about what we hoped he would bring, and then our parents read the night before Christmas to my brother and I. I hope they bring a kettle. (laughs) I hope they bring me an up-to-date debit card so I can shop a lot more efficiently. (laughs) All of them cheerful mundane traditions of our family. Don't you mean all of those cheerful mundane traditions of our family? What was different that final year was I was noticeably less enthusiastic about the whole process. It was the first year I had openly stopped believing in Santa Claus. That's why he kidnapped your brother. (laughs) He's like the candy man. (laughs) You questioned me. You disbelieved me, and now I must. You kill. deserve a death for oh, I was gonna say he's like the Krampus, who is a dick, who literally kidnaps like. Was the Krampus, not Krampus? You heard the Krampus, right? Yeah, I've heard it. It's Krampus. basically like sat. It's like Satan Christmas. Well, it's because you know who dis- like ki- kidnaps children or something because they don't have cheer in their heart, which is sort of a dick way of going about it. Well, this looks also um, you know, yeah. like I can't remember where it was. Uh, well, they're not gonna have any fucking cheer in the heart if they've been kidnapped <laughs> and chucked in the back of a van or some shit. I mean, I mean I'd also like to work as a melon boy. <laughs> Well, but speaking of no, no, it wasn't Melon Boy. He kidnapped him so he could replace uh, Sooty Pete or Black Pete. Do you know about that? Black Pete? No. Right. I had a friend named Pete who was black. No, no. This and is another friend named Pete who was white. I think so it's sometimes in the, I called him I think Black it's Pete. The Netherlands. In the <laughs> in the Netherlands or something like that. They uh, Santa Claus has a black servant called Black Pete, 
Ooh, or su- what? I the channel what are, you go- what are you going on about? Check, Google it. I'm not Googling it. <laughs> it's it's so black you. piece, just immediately right. FBI watch list. Right, hang on. Black piece. It takes you straight to Stormfront. I can't remember if it's another one, but it's like, put Santa's black servant or something like that. Sa- Santa's right. black Santa's servant. Santa's black servant. Straight on a watch list. <laughs> Zwart Piet is a companion of St. Nicholas. Uh, Black Pete. Nice. There we go. What is Black Pete? Zwart Pete, or Black Peter, or Black Pete, uh, Luxembourg, is a companion of St. Nicholas in folklore of low country, in of the Low Countries. That's literally the whole thing. So... I was right. Like, glad we were uh, about this, to be honest, boys. The Dutch don't think it's racist to have for Santa to have black slaves. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That, that's just so I like that it's know. worded like that as well. Like, I don't think the Dutch, when defending it, would use the term black slaves. It's like, it looks at us it's like it's like a black slave. just talk about family wholesome things like Santa's black slave. <laughs> and then you had to make it all racially charged. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know the audience need a safe space because words hurt. Where the fuck are we in the story and what the hell is going on? Toby, you need to come down. You need to learn some important things. Stop shouting. Stop telling people to kill themselves. And not every party is a knees up. Stop shouting. <laughs> Fucking what? What, does, show, what does, show is this? Does not compute. Yeah, for me to, to tell off, you the yeah. truth, until that fateful night, I had never really been a believer in Santa Claus. I mostly just played along to please adults. What? But that year I was tired of all the acting. That's one of the many ways we differed so much, my brother and I. Also gender and You see, age. Chris was a young, energetic and curious boy. <laughs> I remember the year he was taken was also the one where he had found where our parents were hiding our unwrapped gift weeks ahead of time. Unwrapped uh, gifts, that says, by the way. I really just get what, just, they just get the one. Yeah. He refused... Oh, well, I suppose if they're good... If it's a good gift. I mean, he refused to tell his own big sister... <laughs> Is that how not to get kidnapped? <laughs> oh, if only I'd given it to him sooner. <laughs> Fuck. He refused to tell his own big sister what she was going to be getting, though. Figures, I guess. More importantly, however, being three years younger than me, he was still very much a believer. My flat denials of the existence of Santa Claus only served as a challenge to him. He was determined to prove otherwise. We were heading up the stairs to bed when he got my attention. Stay up with me! He said as he tugged at my pyjama sleeve. I'll show you! He's real! We'll catch him in the act! Sounds a bit rude. <laughs> I bet we'll be the first ones to ever have done it. I'm sure he'll give us all kinds of stuff when we do. I sighed. <sighs> I'd rather just get some sleep, Chris, I told him. You can go on believing if you want, but I don't have to just... I don't have to just to have a good Christmas... Wait, go on. Don't just, stop believing. I'm just trying to do now? like yeah. generic, generic Reddit atheist voice. I always try to avoid being such a damper on his spirit, and I thought convincing him to forget his harebrained schemes would be better than waking up half the night just to see his disappointment. Oh, come on, sis! He cried. Why do I always have to make you have fun? If you weren't for me, you'd turn into a boring old lady just like... <laughs> Miss Henderson! I must have made a disgusted face because Chris laughed, gave a mischievous grin and said, What's it going to be, Miss Henderson? Are we going to catch Santa in the act or not? Mrs. Henderson was my fourth grade teacher, and I despised the old crone with a passion. Chris knew how to push my buttons. That sounds a bit rude. Right, short stuff, you're on. I said with more bravado than I actually felt. <laughs> bravado First to fall asleep has to wait till New Year's to open the gift from Santa. Chris' eyes flashed with excitement <clears throat> at the wager. I'll take that bet. So we went to our rooms to wait for our parents' turn to go to bed. After the lights downstairs went out, I waited about a half hour just to make sure they were asleep. And I crept out of my bed and snuck my way downstairs. I saw that there was a light on in the living room. Chris was sitting casually near the fireplace. What took you so long? He asked, always the confident one. I waited for mum and dad to go to sleep, idiot, I replied. They're not going to be too happy when they find us here, or if they find us here. With an unceremonious plop, I sat down on the couch, directly in front of the fire. The couch was underwater. <laughs> directly in front <laughs> of the fire. Oh, just took a shit on the couch. <laughs> plop. He was getting swifty. <laughs> so, how do you expect to stay up the entire night? I asked. I imagine I'll figure it out. Chris said. <laughs> Turn it into a just, chimney sweep. Just, I was say, it just sounds like um, Peg, Peggy Mitchell. Is that her name, the one who owns the pub? Yeah, I think so. 
Cool, blimey, governor. Get out! Get out of my pub before, <coughs> I, before I get Ross Kemp. He's hard, he does documentary about other hard people. Oh. That makes him hard by extension. <laughs> I'm not sure how long we waited for the so-called Saint Nick to appear, but Chris looked almost ready to doze off when we were shocked awake by something that must have been large and heavy hitting the roof. After a short pause, there was a sound of shuffling and the scraping of feet. I was sure I heard the ringing of little bells. Oh, man! <laughs> this is like Toad. Cr Christ whispered. Meow. This is Christ. Christ whispered in awe. So oh. Can you say it like Jesus? <laughs> oh, God, get me down from here! <laughs> Hang on. How does Jesus sound? Let's go back to the actual recording of Jesus Christ. Sup, man? <laughs> I'm Jesus. Oh, man. I have a surprisingly deep voice. Christ whispered in awe. It's really him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's stoned. <laughs> Just talks like Keanu Reeves. For a moment, you know, I've never seen Keanu Reeves and Jesus in the same room at the same true. time. For a moment, I wondered why Mum and Dad weren't awoken by any of this. All this racket was enough to wake the dead. But that train of thought stopped when the chimney soot started sprinkling down the fireplace. Toby was up there sweeping, doing his day job. Yep. Chris dashed over to me and shook my shoulders. What did I tell you? He, you gotta be, you gotta be Chris oh, again oh, now. Oh, that's a shame. What did I tell you? He's real. He's real. We're gonna have a duel, Mario. Oh no! Only impression I'm good so at. So good. <laughs> Unlike Chris, I didn't think there was any supernatural explanation behind the strange occurrence. I was convinced it was a burglar finding their way in through unconventional means. I sat stiffly staring at the fireplace for a few hours, not getting a weapon or no. the phone to call the police. Or alerting anyone. Or the parents. For a few moments, unsure of what to do, until I was rose it, How big is your chimney that an actual, uh, you know, a man could fit down there? Underneath the couch to hide. What are you doing? Chris cried in bewilderment. He's coming! Get down, I whispered fiercely at him. We don't know who that really is. My name's Ringo Starr. Chris opened his mouth to protest, but a voice let out a grunt from the chimney, and it spooked him enough to find a spot of his own. He hid behind Dad's large leather lounge chair in the corner. A few moments later, a final loud thump came, and in front of our fireplace was obscured by all the soot rushing out into the air. I covered my mouth and nose, trying desperately to prevent myself from coughing. When it finally settled, the sight gave my cynical mind a serious shock. The old man that stood before me really was somebody dressed as Santa Claus, and he looked every inch the part. His body was the perfect size, he had the long white beard, and his outfit was a beautifully made red jacket and pants. Herculean in physique! His face contained the soft, loving features of an old man enjoying the moment. What surprised me the most about this strange man was even though he had just entered through our musty chimney, there wasn't a single speck of soot on him. It was Tim Allen! Handsome was... in the face! Herculean! It was almost as if anything that could mar his perfect appearance was naturally repelled. He's in love with him. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. I was finally convinced he was the real deal by what came next. Throwing his sack of presents over his shoulder, Santa stepped away from the fireplace and a short elf girl emerged to follow him. Okay, I'm willing to forgive that. The elf had pointed ears, a glistening green suit, and was so short she only came up to Santa's knee. Fair enough, you're sticking to the, the confines of what an elf everyone always agrees. Is that fine? Keep going. Unlike, then Legolas came down. Unlike the jolly old man, she seemed terrified to take a single step into our home. It's not good. She looked all around as if there was some terrible threat in the room, and seemed only slightly relieved when she mistakenly thought it was empty. Santa noticed her fear, but rather than reassure her, as, he w as would be expected, for a fraction of a second his kind face changed into a look of pure, horrifying malice. It was like the, the kind old man had been replaced by an insane, merciless master, only to return a nanosecond later. Nanomachines. The Sam. elf's mood changed on a dime. In short order, she was filing our stockings with small toys and candy with a smile plastered onto her face that seemed ready to crack at any moment. Being so short, she had to use some kind of magic to levitate so she could get within reach. Some kind of magic, yo! With purposeful yet quiet footsteps, Santa made his way to our tree. Taking two presents from his bag, he placed them in the proper spot and went to where we had left his traditional snack. No, where we'd le left his modern bullshit snack. <laughs> the elf was done with her job too, but Santa wasn't inclined to share with his companion. 
now that she was towing the line, he barely even acknowledged her presence. I love the way you're getting this from literally just watching Santa, like you've never seen him before, and then you notice and you're like, oh, well, we didn't didn't give the elf any of these cookies. Did I, men- did I ever mention that my father was Batman? She just stood there next to him, waiting for him to finish, wringing her hands in nervous movements. On its face, this whole scene... What? On its face, this whole scene like something ripped straight from a Christmas television special. But even at my young age, I could tell that something more was going on. What I'm trying to say is it seemed like they were attempting to appear whimsical for whimsy's sake. Like it was all one big act they were putting on. The little elf barely passed as a convincing actress, and Santa's momentary lapse only cemented my suspicions. (laughs) It was something I was unable to articulate fully at the time. Detective ten-year-old on the case. But I can now. It looked like a ruse. An elaborate ruse! Chris fell for it right away, though. He must have been too young to notice the sinister signs that I'd been able <laughs> too to. Too young compared to the ten-year-old. Yeah. From my angle on the floor, I could see him clearly in his own hiding spot. The look on his face told me everything I needed to know. He was completely enamoured with these two people. To my horror, he slowly crept out from behind the chair. I wanted to call out to him, to tell him to stay right where he was, that these were two strangers, that there was no way to tell what would happen once they knew we were there. But that would have given us both away. It's not like he wouldn't have listened to me either. What? what? I think you mean would have. How many kids out there can't help but trust Santa Claus? Wow! He whispered to our bizarre intruders. It's really you! At this, both Santa and his elf turned to find Chris standing in the middle of the room. Both had this faux expression of surprise that only served to unsettle me further. Waiting I up! I think Matt should be Santa, don't okay. you? I don't know I should. I think yeah, you should. You know what? I think you should, and it should be your Santa voice. <clears throat> Waiting up for us, I see. <laughs> Santa commented with a warm smile. Yeah! Chris said uh, cheerfully. Yeah, Chris said cheerfully. I wanted to prove that you're really real and everything, Gavna. <laughs> and it seems you have. <laughs> Santa replied with a chuckle. He sat down in my father's chair and motioned to Chris to sit with him. <laughs> to which he obliged. Oh man, I've got so many questions! Chris exclaimed. Are the reindeer on the roof? Can I see him? What's he like living in the North Pole? Oh, I wish I could see it someday! All in good time! <laughs> Santa said, oh, grinning at his voice. remarks. Maybe to some it would have looked like a friendly expression, but to me it was a smile that seemed to contain the self satisfaction of winning a game. Not the game, though, <coughs> you just lost. As for the elf, she had lost all colour in her face. She made no move whatsoever as the two sat together, but her expression was enough to tell me that something horrible was about to happen. I knew you were real, I just knew it, Chris said. And all the big kids at school gave us such a hard time about it, even Sis was losing it too. Just wait until everyone hears about this. They won't, Chris, Santa (laughs) said, clasping his gloved hand over my brother's shoulder. Eh, why not? He asked confused. Do I have to keep it a secret? Santa laughed a deep, evil laugh that was <laughs> that was too much un- that was too much unlike his usual ho ho ho. Do you honestly think that you've been the only one who ever to see me that throughout history? The many little children of the world haven't done the same as you. Chris shifted uncomfortably in the man's lap. I guess not. You see, Chris. Santa began. Oh God! Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) Go to hell, dude. It's not his fault. I'm joking. Children are not to be trusted. Well, I know that. (laughs) Fucking know that one. They're the ignorant, greedy, and selfish offspring of humans. A greedy and selfish race of beings. With over the years, I've been able to sustain myself on... These human qualities and humans have been happy. Whitewash my persona. Persona! (laughs) Persona. I know that one! It's persona free! In order to satiate their desires without guilt, it's the perfect season for it. Don't you agree, my boy? My boy, Yugi! Chrissy boy! The excitement in Chris's face was all but gone now. He was finally starting to get it. I am so sorry, Matt. (laughs) This is why I never read. He said, I think Matt should do the Santa I voice. The, what? It's what? a funny voice. Yeah. The children who seek me out always want something. Santa said. More meaningless possessions? A satisfaction of curiosity? Or simple proof? 
is only a few examples. However, there is always a price to be paid for breaking the rules and finding something that is not meant to be found. Break the walls down! <laughs> Throughout this conversation, the elf began to gather the gifts they had brought with a hint of reluctance. She even managed to make the cookie Santa ate magically reappear. She was ridding the house of any evidence of their presence. Santa's hand squeezed Chris's shoulder tightly. I am always looking for more helpers, he continued. Children who have seen me, who could n uh, never keep such a secret, the perfect candidates. <laughs> My brother's face turned to an expression of absolute fear. He now realised his, his fatal error. You are not the first, he said. You certainly won't be the last. Turning to his elf, Santa barked as a command. Woof! Man bark! <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, it's time to change him now. No! Oh no, love the, the no, elf. No, no, please, I... The elf stammered. Please don't make me. Santa gave her a cruel look of disdain and waved his hand towards her in an odd way. I was horrified to see the elf suddenly start clawing frantically at her face, digging her nails into her own skin. <laughs> she screeched in pain, unable to stop harming herself. Santa waved his hand again, releasing her from the torture. Her face was now covered in scratches and dripping with blood. God, this is longer than what before. <laughs> Chris screamed and dove off his lap, trying to rush out of the room, but the old man made another strange wave with his hand and Chris stopped in his tracks, as if possessed. My brother turned around to face him, his eyes wide with fear. He was under that awful man's control. Don't you see? It's too late for you now, he said Ex triumphantly. Accept your fate! With a smug grin, Santa looked at his companion. I should really start having you all wear red, he said in a mocking tone. At least then the blood wouldn't show so much. <laughs> Are you going to do as you told now, Annabelle? Fucking voice. Or do you think something worse of you? You know what he sounds like, I've just realised. You know the, I just had a straw. Yeah. <laughs> yes. it, it, it's basically a cross between that guy, Maximilian Pegasus, and the Mad Hatter. The elf let out a heavy sob and looked up to my terrified brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guy. She said in a sad, high-pitched voice. From where I was, I could see her tears mingling with blood as she took a little silver wand hidden in the folds of her clothes pointed it directly at my brother, and a blinding flash filled the room. It took some time for my sight to recover. Can I just take a little moment and just... We're reading Why a story just... about the real Father yeah. Christmas abducting children. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, you're like, oh, we, we made the cookies disappear. Imagine, right? If, if, they ha if, if they hadn't left, and they hadn't been discovered, they'd have eaten the cookies. The parents would have come down and gone, someone's eaten the fucking cookies, Ooh. and there are presents here no, we that didn't, we didn't... We didn't buy them. The fuck? One of the police. <sighs> yeah, no, you, you, you gotta, you gotta suspend some of your belief. Well, the could got hand wave it wave like magic. They thought they'd made the presence. And to be honest, the elf just also, levitated. That, that's you know? always the thing with um, like the story of Santa is like back basically when it sort of started. It's like oh, uh, Santa gives out like Father Christmas. Santa gives out presents, and you always like attend like teddy bears and like yeah. wooden trains and shit like yeah. that. So like. What yeah, did Jen he do? Cast present to actually get it from one of his Yeah. Like, what like one of where it's like? Yeah, does he give out Xboxes now or yeah. iPads? Apparently so. Uh, mm. Today, Santa, can I have a Pokemon Go Plus, please? Which is eighty fucking quid for a free game. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking. It took some time for my sight to recover, but when she it did, back. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be my thing now. Like, mm. oh, Santa, you <laughs> see, <like>, panic blind. <laughs> But when it did, I saw the Chris I knew was disappearing before me. His whole body looked like it was melting before my eyes. <clears throat> Unnecessary flesh falling away and reshaping itself. When the transformation was over, he was shorter and squatter. His ears came out to sharp points. His nose was round and flush as if he had been out in the cold. Even his clothes had changed to a uniform similar to Santa's companion, only red this time. His new elf appearance was a caricature of his former self. He must have been so scared, looking down at his new form, he could only let out a pitiful squeak. 
So was I as I lay frozen underneath the couch clutching the carpet. You piece of shit. As that awful obese man and strange crying elf dragged my newly turned brother into our fireplace. That sentence alone sounds a bit weird when you take it out of context. <laughs> yes, Chris... Obese man, strange crying elf, newly turned brother, fireplace. Chris looked down and stared directly at me. His expression a desperate cry for help, but what could I do? How could I fight off two <laughs> magical beings without myself getting turned into the same horrible situation? So I flipped it off and mouthed the words, I'm taking your presence. So I did nothing. I still have nightmares about that. With Chris in tow, they shot up the cemetery. All together, though, Start through that strange magic. And that was the last I ever saw of my little brother. For almost the entire night, I stayed under the couch, softly crying in my state of shock. I had no strength to do much else, but as I saw the sun slowly rise from the windows, I knew it was safe to crawl out of my hiding place and to find my way back to my room. Don't wake your parents. <laughs> yeah. The rest, I guess, is history. This is going down in... No, wait. Yeah, to this day, I won't have yeah. anything to do with this terrible holiday. Okay. I don't decorate, I don't give out gifts, I don't get to parties, I won't even live in a house with a chimney or fireplace. Hell, Fair I enough. refuse to visit homes with one this time of year. Don't even get me started about the mall or street corner Santas. I just keep to my apartment as much as I can. Hang on, are you still 10? No, I sincerely doubt that, Toby. Yeah. In my paranoia, I really just turn into a cheerless shut-in a month out of the year because I know that somewhere in the world there will be more unlucky children going missing. I still don't know why I didn't meet the same fate as my brother. Has he never told his captors that I was there too? Could he really keep a secret for that long? Could they somehow pry the truth out of him? Every year since that night, I've been terrified that they'll finally come for me. It's a good idea. If you're that worried, why don't you stay near a chimney on New Year's Eve, with a gun. stay up with a gun, and when he comes out, shoot him. Perhaps what keeps me safe is the fact that he can keep away soot. Who's to say he can't keep away bullets? <laughs> That's true. He has got a pristine in They are both made of matter. Perhaps what Sexy bastard he is, Sam, Perhaps isn't he? what keeps me safe is the fact that I've stayed quiet all these years, never telling anyone what really happened. Why? I can only assume... Because <laughs> once again, Santa kidnapped my brother. I can only assume that Chris has done the same. Anyone out there must be wondering why I'd say anything about it now. To be honest, I want to because dot dot dot, I'm not sure what that fat bastard could do to me, dot dot dot. I mean, there's no way he could turn a fully grown adult into an elf, right? I mean, I'm, ter I'm terrified of it happening every yeah. year, but there's no way, right? But most of all, I want to know what's become of Chris. It hurts to think what could have happened to him over all these years. And I need to find out. Maybe if I share my story with the world, somebody out there will give me some answers. Yeah, the, the elves in the North Pole will tell you exactly how that's going to happen. They use their elf iPhones. Maybe there's some way I could help him. The iPad? I'm willing to take the risk. I just hope all the disturbing possibilities I've imagined won't come to pass. Christmas Eve is coming. Wish me luck. Can I just Santa say, Claus can, is coming. Uh, there I, are no comments. Can um, I just say, right, one thing right at the end where she said, I wonder what's happened to Chris all these years. Well, he probably hates your guts, love, because yeah. you're the only one he knows and you haven't done shit. You haven't, it, like, gone, FBI, yeah, I know where he's gone. Actually, no, I don't. Somewhere in the yeah. North Pole. I know it sounds mental, but you just believe me, all right? Do we do we one of them lie detector tests? Right, okay. How did we feel about this one? Honestly, it was quite bad, um, but Not the worst. for the most part, the grammar was okay. There were a couple of grammar mistakes in there, but it's written in such a way that it's perfectly fine and it's readable. You know, it's not illegible in any way. I think the authors don't mention it was their first creepy pasta. Not a bad, um, not, not a bad yeah. swing. Yeah, if like, I'm with yeah. You. I've seen so many worse first ones than this. The, my biggest issue with it is the crux of the horror of this story is Santa Claus is real, and the problem with that is when you're a grown up living in the grown up world, you know, you understand how Christmas happens, yeah. and that doesn't make sense. Other than that, yeah, it, it's not great. Like, I mean, else, else it wouldn't be on the show. Do you know what I mean? But it's again, maybe I mean, it's the of, of the Christmas ones we've done, this is the best. Oh yeah, I mean, may, least awful is probably the way I put yeah. it. But yeah, I think you know, maybe it's the festive spirit getting to me. Um, I'm being quite again. kind to these, but you know, it's it festive been spirit is just a slang term yeah. for the drugs he's taking. Yes, it's, it's, it's just it's just, yeah, just injected mescaline and strange large, balls, large quantities of cocaine. But and, yeah, it, and mescaline strains my testicles. T Tescaline, I call it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you call it festive spirit. Remember, it's really going to your fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, it was pretty shit, obviously, because uh, the big problem with it is it's not scary. 
the belief that you know they're trying to sell a story on Santa's ring. Jacob. It wasn't as cringe- Jacob. It wasn't as cringy as the first one, no. but the problem with it is it's trying to be serious, whereas the first one at least was having a laugh. I don't know. Maybe you could probably sell this like a kid because like the idea of like, but then it would probably just ruin Christmas for the kid. Yeah, I think, but it dep- yeah, if you're like a young kid who's recently stopped believing in Santa, this could possibly be scary because there's. Do you know what I mean? Like you figured out Santa's not real, but you haven't quite put a lot of thought into it. So, oh, it doesn't make sense. It's your parents doing it. Yeah. Then it could work maybe for like like a you know if it wasn't yeah. for the blood, it'd be more like a goosebumps episode. Yeah. Well, to be fair, in Grief Past the terms, there was no blood basically. There was, yeah, there was one a, yeah, bit where she scratched scoring. her face out. That's it. That's like the drop. Yeah. That's the smallest bit of blood I've seen in the Grief Past in a long, long, long time, including the Carol we just did because that has more yeah. blood. I'm saying cut that out, and you could do that. Could be a, like a children's horror story, mm-hmm. really, and like. Mm-hmm have a bit more scary stuff happens in so it's not quite as dry because it could be a little boring for children all in all not the worst one we've ever we've all in all read. I'll give one you, of the better ones we've read actually just all in all I'll give you a 4 out of 10 and believe me on my rating system that's generous oh yeah like everything it's a one I think we've learned very many important things such as how Santa is racist and he has a, like, a small black Santa <laughs> that's just so slave. ridiculous yeah. how in the middle of that we went oh black Santa wait no not black Santa <laughs> Black Mall Santa that apparently those people are annoyed about, but they're not actually. It's just a bunch of stupid trolls on Twitter and like the American black community is like, fucking white people are really racist. Like, nah, nah, honestly, it's just stupid trolls on Twitter. Yeah. The sa- yeah. It's the same like mass of white people that were upset about John Boyega being in Star Wars, i.e., some forum trolls. Yeah. Well, I mean, I it's mean, not the most thing to be upset about with the new era. No, stuff. God, no. On that lovely Christmassy <laughs> topical, uh, I just want to say Merry Christmas to all our fans. Thank you for tuning in to our Christmas special. It's not very Christmassy yet, so I'll be honest. So you just keep talking. I do. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Enjoy, in, enjoy your Christmas. Um, Doing yeah. Christmas things. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. That's a holiday, right? That's around this time of year. I think someone might have might just made that up. Uh, okay, uh, then. Uh, no. Happy Hanukkah, yeah, I think, as well. Yeah. Another one. Wintermas, um, is that a thing? Yeah. Seasons Winter, greetings for those who aren't win- man enough to actually say Christmas. Winter solstice is a thing that sort of the, the special snowflake Wiccan community, I think, do, or pagan community, or some shit like that. Oh, yeah. Happy anyway, guys, have a, ni- have, two. Have, have, have a nice Christmas. Have a and... merry 25th of December. Yeah. There you no. go. Ha- no. Have a neutral. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Have a neutral, grey, bland porridge of a holiday <laughs> that offends no one. <laughs> Uh, thanks for tuning in and if you've been with us since the beginning this is our 100th episode so yeah, brilliant Thank, yeah. thanks for sticking thanks for sticking with us for 100 episodes guys um, I would say here's to 100 more but the very thought fills me with suicidal urges um, <laughs> but thanks if you're a fan thanks for tuning in if you're an author of one of these stories we're just having a keep laugh. writing terrible stuff yeah so yeah just keep, just keep at it keep improving um, and if you don't improve cool we can still make fun of you alright have a great Christmas guys and we'll see you in uh, 2017 which will hopefully hopefully be a better year for everyone <laughs>